back with another turn of Arkham Horror. And uh, it is Mandy Thompson going first. And on the upkeep phase, I'm going to uh, lower Diana Stanley's movement yet another one since she's got all this free movement, three points of free movement. So uh, she doesn't need all that, and she <laughs> may need snake. So. Um, okay, now, uh, Mandy Thompson's got eight clue tokens, however, she can't really get to one of the gates at the moment. So, I think she's going to just pick up another clue token. Um, the, the problem is, you know, I've played this game a few times, and I know there, there, there are, are, are areas that, uh, the gates generally come out. The woods is one, and the witch house is another one. And uh, I think um, when a gate opens at the woods, usually there's a clue token that opens up at the historical society or comes to the historical society. So I think she's just going to move to the historical society. And I think that uh, Diana Stanley is going to move to the witch house, which is another pretty active location. Uh, along with um, Independent Square seems to be a bit of an active one. So, okay, so uh, Mandy Thompson will leave her stats as is, and on the upkeep phase, um, I think we'll just leave the upkeep phase. Everyone will be the same except, of course, Diane Stanley lowered her movement. So we'll go for the movement phase, one, two, three, pick up the clue token, and... Uh, That'll be uh, Mandy's turn, and Diana's turn will be one, two, go to the witch house, grab the clue token, put that there, and now it's an encounter phase. So Mandy's encounter is the historical society. Okay, let's see what we got here. An actor from the King in Yellow leads a theater course. It's amazing when skills an actor needs to master in it, it's amazing what skills an actor needs to master in order to look like the real thing. Pass a will minus two check to draw skill cards equal to the number of success rolls. Keep one and discard the rest. If you fail, you learn something you wish you hadn't in the theater ex, ex exercises and are cursed. Oh boy, cursed. That is not good news, cursed. It is a uh, a will minus two, a will minus two, which means one dice. She may want to use her reroll on this if she doesn't get it. She does not get it and she will use, oh, well crap, I forgot to do the tome again, shit. You know, I'm just going to do the tome again. Uh, she moved three. She gets four. She's got an extra. So you, she'll just do that. And she finally passes. So she finally passes and, and turns this in for three more clue tokens. Um, so we'll put that over here in the discard pile. And we'll get three more clue tokens. So she's got a lot of clue tokens. The only problem with that is if she becomes cursed, that's just kind of crappy so okay so we'll roll again all right to pass this will minus two and she passes wow how about that wow good use of the reroll saved a curse okay so that's her encounter now um diana she is in the witch house and so her encounter is i know you guys can't probably can't read this um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna fix that. An artist's address book lies on a table with a list of names: uh, Les Leslie Burke, Pinky McCormick, Tessie. You feel like you uh, know them all or knew them, and feel a stab of sadness. Gain one clue token, but pass a will plus a zero check or lose one sanity. Okay, will. A will, so she's a, her will is two, and it's a will 
It's just a will check. So it's two dice, and uh, she gains a clue token. Um, and we'll see if she passes the will. Oh, wow. Pretty easy right there. Two passes. So she passed the will, so she doesn't lose a sanity, and she gains a clue, clue token. Well, that's good news because she needs them, and I wish I hadn't. Oh, well. I guess she needed the weapon, so so that's the encounter. Now we have the mythos phase, so let's grab a mythos card and pray it's not a rumor, and it's a headline. Okay, so it's in the unvisited aisle, which again, this is the third time um, we have one there, so it's a monster surge again, and uh, so we get two more monsters because we have two gates open and two characters so two appear and one is going to go into the outskirts since we have four currently on the board so we'll pick one so one is going to be in the invisited aisle that's the invisited aisle the next one is in the outskirts that was zombie oh well so the zombies in the outskirts, and the ghoul, another ghoul, is here in the invisited aisle. Okay, and then we uh, get a clue token at the North Point Lighthouse, or, well, it will be the, um, um, Science building. So the science building gets a clue token. Um, science building gets a clue token. That's two there. I should probably go get those. Pretty sure I should. Okay, now the movement of the monsters. Um, the circle, if there is any, which there is none. The square, which there's no square and the diamond there's no diamond so nothing moves now the headline is texas come texas come do all investigators discard one half of all their money yeah. well that's fantastic round down so uh yeah and poor mandy thompson loses three dollars so that blows wow well there are a lot worse worse mythos cards that's for sure but no well, that kind of blows we'll discard that and that's the turn it is now going to be the next turn will be diana stanley will be number one and uh i think Diana Stanley is going to go over to the science building and get those two clue tokens. And uh, Mandy Thompson would just love to close a gate, but Mandy Thompson, I just don't think, can close a gate because she cannot get through. She can't get through. It's just, huh? She, 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 shit. She'd sure love to get to the unvisited aisle and close that thing, but uh, she'd have to go through two minus threes to do it is just not going to happen it's just not going to happen so and uh i i think diana can do it because she's got all that extra movement but she needs the clue tokens she only has two and i sh fucked up and took three of them off her and gave her that weapon so which I think might have been a mistake. But anyway, um, okay, well, I will, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the, the upkeep phase. I'm going to lower Diana's uh, speed one more because she only really needs three to get over there. And uh, she's got it in cards alone. That will give her a sneak of four, which, you know, I don't know if she needs it, but we'll do that. Um, she's not going to use her voice of raw because I'm not sure she'll need that this turn. And uh, Mandy Thompson will just stay as Mandy Thompson is, 
and I think she's going to find her way to um, either the graveyard, one, two, three, four, either the graveyard or the black cave, one of those. And to pick up another clue token since she just, she can't get, well, she'll be closer over there. Maybe she can lower her speed and try to sneak by next turn. So anyway, we'll uh, start it again next uh, turn. I'll reshuffle the encounter cards that I used, the decks I used, and we'll uh, play another turn.